So when Endless Pools sent me their Endless Pool to give a try and see how I can actually modify our swim smooth methodology, I was really keen to investigate and have a little bit of an experiment with a range of new drills or new ideas on a take of how to actually improve your, improve your swimming. Now this gadget that I have here is what we call a parachute. It's very simple, it ties around your waist and drags out behind you. Fills it with water and slows you down. Now when using this in a standard swimming pool, Swimmers who tend to over glide a little bit, that is reaching forwards and actually stalling and gliding a little bit too long at the front end of the stroke, will feel the cable tension tug, tug, tugging them backwards. So every now and again, you'll actually extend forwards and you'll accelerate and you'll feel that pull on the cable. And then as you stall potentially at the front end of the stroke, you'll actually just feel it slackening off and then tightening up and slackening off and tightening up. Now, that's in a standard pool, but in the endless pool, you've, of course, you can't do that. You can't slow down. It's on a constant flow and velocity, which is why I really like coupling up the endless pool with a pool boy between my legs, a band around the ankles, and this parachute trailing on behind me. It rapidly fills up with water, slows me down, but what I'm seeking for is just that constant tension on the cable, notifying me that I have a nice rhythmical stroke and I've got constant propulsion within my stroke. Of course, it makes for a really challenging exercise as well. So if you are a stronger swimmer, let's say, for example, you have a threshold pace of 120 per 100 meters or faster, you might like the idea of coupling up a pool boy with your parachute and a band around your ankles because it sort of extends the range of the endless pool, if you like, challenging you, certainly on those high, higher speeds, to really try to work as hard as you possibly can to try to keep up with it. Give it a little bit of a blast. It's very, very challenging indeed. And like I say, one of my new favorites.